Thomas and Mavis. The quarry on Thomas's branch line was busier than ever. There were plenty of orders for stone, which meant more trips down the line for Mavis. She was delighted. It was refreshing to leave the quarry. There were so many trucks that Percy couldn't take them all himself. The other engines sometimes took mixed trains to help him. Toby was used to this. Thomas complained bitterly. Why should my passengers have a bumpy ride because Percy can't manage another couple of trucks? It's more than a couple, I'll have you know. Besides, those trucks are better behaved than ever thanks to Mavis. She could at least shunt them properly for us. Her job is to manage the quarry, not your trains. You just want to laser round in the shed. Thomas spluttered, but Percy and Toby just laughed. <coughs> the next morning, Mavis rumbled in with the trucks. Morning, Thomas. Fresh stone for you. How wonderful. It's lovely coming down the tramway early in the morning. I wonder when I'll get to see more of the line. <sighs> you know, I was in your wheels once. I was stuck at the big station, but I wanted to see more. The fat controller saw how well I shunted trains for the other engines, and he rewarded me with this branch line. I think if you were to shunt trains, the fat controller would be quite pleased. A little initiative can take you a long way, down the line, that is. Have some time before I'm due back at the quarry. Perhaps I could shunt your train before I go. How's that for e initiate, uh, helping out? What a splendid idea, Mavis. Most kind of you. For several days afterwards, Mavis would shunt Thomas's trains after she brought the trucks down. At first, she was eager to help, but balancing shunting with quarry work soon wore her down. This didn't bother Thomas. All he cared about were a few more minutes of shut-eye. One morning, Mavis fussed into Farquhar and found Percy waiting. Hello, Mavis. You do look tired. Never mind me! Where's Thomas? Helping at the big station for the morning. I'll be taking Annie and Clarabelle instead. Well, I'll have your train shunted as quickly as I can. What? Why would you shunt my train? Mavis explained her conversation with Thomas. Oh, that Thomas! I knew he didn't like shunting, but I didn't think he'd stoop this long. You mean, shunting wasn't how Thomas got his branch line? <laughs> if that were all it took, I'd have my own branch line too. You let him shunt his own trains from now on if he's so good at it. Mavis was fuming. She wanted to pay Thomas out. And that's when an idea struck her. Yes, Percy. That's exactly what I'll do. The next morning, the sun rose over the sheds. Thomas was fast asleep, having a lovely dream, when suddenly... Thomas! Thomas! Wake up! <gasps> Thomas's eyes jolted open. His driver was frantically trying to get him started. <sighs> What's wrong? You overslept, and now you're late! Thomas gasped. <gasps> he looked at the station clock. Sure enough, it was almost time for him to leave. The passengers stood impatiently on the platform, with no coaches to board. Where's that Mavis? There was no time to ponder that. Thomas hurriedly fetched the coaches and readied his train. He worked as fast as he could, but he was very late as he set off on the line. He was later still when he arrived at the big station. The passengers erupted from Annie and Clarabelle. They had some choice words for the station master. Naturally, when the fat controller found out what happened, he had some choice words of his own for Thomas. Mm -hmm. 
The next morning, Mavis was surprised to find Thomas wide awake when she arrived at Falkland. This is a surprise! Decide to shunt your own train for once! I'm sorry I tricked you. I certainly made a fool out of myself, didn't I? He paused and looked at his buffers. You've worked very hard the last few days, much harder than I have. How would you like it if I worked at the quarry in your place for a while? Oh, Thomas, you mean it? Of course. There's no better way to see more of the line after all. The Fat Controller made the arrangements with the quarry manager. Mavis was soon hard at work on the branch line. While Percy took Annie and Clarabelle, she handled the goods work. She reveled in her journeys to the junction and proved to be really useful. And Thomas? He worked at the quarry for quite some time. It was hard, dirty work, and the trucks put him through his paces. He was thankful when Mavis did come back. And when he returned to his shed, he felt his shut-eye was well-earned.